What is going on guys? Welcome back to Angry Mac Adventures. Have a look at this weather, Will. What's it's going not on? Great. It's not it is great. terrible. So we've improvised, we got Will's Beast. Mate, what a sticker. Oh. That is so good. This is terrible. So we've had to improvise here. We've got Will's Beast. We've got the awning out. And today we're gonna be working on the trailer. So the plan is today is we're gonna actually change all the bearings. We're gonna put brand new bearings on the dinghy trailer. Uh, we're gonna change out the wheels. I think the wheels are just a bit too big. And I don't actually think they'll be compliant for when we put this thing through the licensing center. So, uh, or through the pits. But uh, all the lights are brand new on the dinghy trailer, which is really good. Um, there's basically no rust in it whatsoever, which is awesome. So not much work to be done there. I might even take this off and just give it a bit of a buzz and a bit of a paint just to make it look presentable. But uh, first off, we're gonna pull all the wheels off. We're gonna change all the bearings. We're gonna basically bolt all the brand new tires and rims back on. And then we're going to start sorting out uh, where we're gonna place the mud guards because we've got new mud guards as well. So let's get straight into it. Ready? Yep. Yep. Perfect. Wicked! Those bearings are actually in really good condition. Um, you can tell if you try and rock the tyre. If it's got any movement left to right, it means that the bearings are on their way out. But they're actually really good. But anyway, for $50, we might as well change them. It's good to change bearings every year or two. Um, because they are exposed to a lot of salt water, a lot of corrosion. Let's get your wheels on. B William has never done a bearing change before. No, never done the bearing. Unbelievable. Well, Will, you're actually tightening it, by the way. No, no, I'm going this way. Oh, okay. I'm just going to make sure it's in. <laughs> That's what she said. Do you want to? Did you want an, um, a hammer? There he you needs go. a hammer when you got the guns. All right, so we're going to remove the rack first. Uh, basically, they got a bunch of these C or U bolts that surround the chassis of the actual trailer itself. We're just gonna undo all the nuts. Under pressure. Oh, how strong are they? Um, mate, they are not moving, but just, just, I'm just that strong, mate. I love how I get Will over and he does all the work and I just record yeah. straight. Gives me a bit good of a break. Teamwork, this. This <laughs> the folks are loving it. Everyone's, everyone's over the 200 series build at the moment. They want to go back to the budget dinghy build. All right, so one, two, three, and four. You want these ones off? Uh, yep, yeah. Uh, yeah, the front ones. I think the back ones aren't connected, eh? Well, that's a to the racks? No, nah, they're actually connected to this part. Um, no, nah, I just need the back ones. Ah, right. uh, the front ones too. You gotta too. go because the hole's too big. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you want to keep that ratchet, you want to keep that socket here so we can undo them fully? You might as well undo them fully first. Yeah, right. Get rid of them. And I'll do some hard works. I'll remove these. Yeah, good. Have a look at the welds on this. That is just stunning performance from the ex-owner. Wow, we. But he's put brand new lights, so that's a good thing. This one kind of just broke off. 19. Is it 19? 19. 19. How good's that? Is that flexy. heavy? Nah, it's flexy though. Oh Can yeah, it would be. Side? Yeah, of course it would. There you go. Oh, how good's that? Cheers. I'm, so, on, uh, I'm on dry July. You're on dry July. Tell me why, after undoing all these bolts, why I have to re-do them up? So. And whose fault is it? Yeah, that was my fault. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> there was a couple of U-bolts that were holding the actual, um, that mesh down. And there was U-bolts that are holding the actual frame to the chassis of the trailer itself. But William went ahead and undid the wrong U-bolts. <laughs> Under instructions. <laughs> it's really good working on trailers. <laughs> How do I come over? Well, I like your setup, mate. Look at that. Yeah. How good's that? Why well, don't you go flick on some lights in the back too? You can see how see what I did the other day. I'm loving this little setup you got at the moment here. Yeah, let's have a look. Oh, mate. Innovative. I love it. On a little switch there as well. I'm sure you guys will work out one day why Will's here helping me out. I still... If you do, let me know. <laughs> is, it the, is, it, is it the jacket? They are bloody good. 
They're pretty good, eh? Yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed. Considering we're on a lovely, lovely Perth day, can you get these? Where can you get these? I'll, I was just about to tell the audience. Oh, really? That? You're about to tell. Hundred percent. Did I interrupt you? Nah, you didn't. Okay. Do you want to tell them? Yeah, go on. If you guys want these? Link in description. There you go. Well, that'd be about. <laughs> <laughs> we almost lost the trailer. That's all right. Aero, aerodynamics. Look at the size of these tires. No, nah, these. How, they're how no good. might even just have these on there? They are huge, man. They're too big. But what we got to do is we got to work out what stud pattern that is. It's a six stud, but we got to work out the um, is it spacing. OCD or PCD or whatever it is, uh -huh. which is the um, the spacing between the, the studs. So we can work out what new wheels and tires to get because we're not going to be running those. You'll never pass pits like that. Oh God, no! Hey, but um, we've got to be. You haven't got another two of these, have you? Why is that? Just slightly bigger. Um, no. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Actually, I got three. It'd be a bit lopsided. Yeah, it would be. All right, let's take this other one off. Do the bearings. Are you excited for the bearings? Well, I'm excited for the bearings, man. I've never done it before, and I'd love to learn. Oh, beautiful. All right, let's take those other wheel off. But yeah, they're trash. We'll throw those out. They're just crap. Some long nose pliers. Oh, this long nose. A long nose pliers. Replacing your bearings is a very crucial part to maintaining your boat trailer, especially the amount of salt and corrosion these bearings are exposed to. If you guys want to see a full tutorial on a bearing installation on a boat trailer, leave it in the comments. So now we're going to jump over and do the other side. It's exactly the same thing. Um, now I know that I'll have trouble three with this bearing for the, hopefully the next 12 months. So these are the mud guards we're going to run with. Those ones there that it come uh, with the actual trailer itself was just hacked up and destroyed. It's trying to run those big tires as well. We probably just made them a lot bigger. So uh, if you guys don't remember from one of the episodes on my boat build, Mark, the one that dropped off my outboard, he had those sitting in the shed and said, yeah, mate, I'm happy to give those to you. So got brand new mud flaps on it and they're just the standard generic single axle trailer, galvanized steel mud guard. So thank you very much, Mark. Now we're in the shed, we've, uh, we've got a bit of space in here. The rain was just too much. The bearings are now done. We have bolted the tires back on. Now what we're gonna do, is we're just grinding off all the imperfections on top here where um, he previously welded the mud guards on. So I'm getting Will just to grind those back down, get rid of all that surface rust here, here, there, and there. All right, how'd you go? That is exactly what we're looking for. Look at that, all ground back. So that used to look like that. Very nice, Will. You just got three more to go. Thank you. Now you can see those U-bolts where Will is grinding, they have seen better days. These are pretty crucial as they hold the frame of the axle to the chassis itself of the trailer, so these will definitely be replaced. Are you happy? Oh, what is that happy? Oh, very good. All right, let's Will's get these. Will's kind of hear you, but Will's a happy. <laughs> now nah, let's get these flares on, boy. Uh, we've got some galvanized tubing here. I believe it's 10 or 12 by 12, maybe 15. Uh, this is old, off an old fence post and that is gonna be our structure for the mud guards. So we just test fitted one of the tires that will probably be running. It's just a basic steely that come off um, a standard uh, four wheel drive. That is a 245. Also, when you think about any four wheel drive, this is a standard four wheel drive tire, if you think you really want to match the tire to your full drop. Uh, your full oh, drive. absolutely, yep. That'd be perfect. No, nope, let's stick with that, I reckon. So let's, uh, the reason why we've done this is so we can actually base the new guards around this tire. So you can see it's a lot thinner, so the guard is gonna fit a lot better. So we're using, uh, so the length of it is 300 mil, and I've just ground back all that galvanized steel so we can create a nice weld between this and the actual trailer itself. Now, basically, we're gonna be using a similar mounting position to where they were before. 
so it'll look nice and neat once we put a couple of welds in and at the front here as well. Now when welding up the mud guards we made sure everything was level with a spirit level, uh, basically tacked it in place and then measured up to make sure everything was square before welding permanently. Now these mud guards are galvanized, so before we go welding, make sure that the galvanized is removed so you get yourself a clean weld. You! One thing out the way. All right, new bearings. All the mud guards are now on, they look really nice. Gave them a coat of paint because this is gonna get pushed outside in the next couple of days. I need to find a set of wheels for it, buy some of that galvanized paint and paint the whole trailer, make it look really nice. And then the trailer's done and it should be ready for pits. Um, I wonder what way these still... Okay, so these shackles have to be re-welded. Um, new regulations, they need to be facing horizontal, so we have to do those as well. And I might get a hammer and bend this back up. I'm not sure why that's bent. But other than that, guys, I think we're going to call that a night. Day two, and uh, we're just about to finish off this trailer. So uh, I found some nice rims that were sitting in the shed. So I think I'll be putting these on uh, the dinghy. So they're just off a of Nissan Navara six stud. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're the same stud pattern as uh, this axle. So I like these rims, I'm gonna use them. I don't think the tires will pass. They, they're on the verge of basically being legal. So I'll see if I can find some new tires and put them on. Well guys, that is it for the trailer. It turned out really nice, especially for the time we had. Uh, there's only a few things we've got to do before licensing, and that's throwing on a couple of reflectors and bits and pieces, but uh, we're very happy with the outcome. So we're just basically putting the dinghy back on the trailer to make sure it clears the guards, and then uh, all steam ahead, finishing this build off. Well, there you have it, guys. That is the end of this episode uh, on the trailer. So this is ready for the pits. Uh, we ended up making sure that all the lighting was working. We fixed up the front chains to make sure that they were compliant for the government regulations. We've also installed brand new bearings. So hopefully they are, they are trouble free for the next 12 months, as well as installing some new mud guards to fit for the new wheels. So for you guys following on this off-road budget dinghy build, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a thing or two. In the next couple of episodes, we'll be getting straight onto the dinghy and finishing this build off so we can go get some fish. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.